was no door. I Oh my, what the That is in the face, you my mother. buddy. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Turfinet, and uh, welcome back to Outlast, because uh, we're going to do the Whistleblower DLC today. And uh, still with me are Christoph and Benito. So, uh, yeah, pretty much the same concept as the previous series. We're going to switch controllers every 20 to 30 minutes and uh, go through the DLC like that. I think Whistleblower is a pretty expensive DLC. Because, uh, well, I've seen a few things about that. But uh, go ahead, so we're gonna play as the whistleblower that started it all off at the beginning of the game. Well, just pick normal. Insane. Yeah, we're gonna pick normal. Pick new safe data. Insane. If you, if you wanna do it insane, then you can do it insane. We're not gonna do it insane. You only get one life on insane. Okay. Computer screens. No, it's a uh, block. I don't know. No, I think it's, it's Computer. screens. TV screens, computer screens. It's too... Yeah, it's no natural light. Like churchy glass. <laughs> oh. What's up, Doc? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. I also maybe warn the public a bit. The DLC is a lot more graphic and... Uh, we don't have to wake up. Creepy, yeah. I know it sounds strange, but it's a lot creepier than... Uh, What's the matter? The so original you. game. And... Uh, Mom. They're gonna see what I'm talking about pretty much right now. Uh, uh, he's licking yeah. our ear. The doctor is licking our face. Kind of busy here. It sounds like real trouble. At the engine, they said hope made a lateral assumption. We hope. Oh, there so it goes again. Yeah, hope made a lateral ascension. So this is before shit, shit, anything happens. Come on. So the whole system is still working. Well, yeah, the, the whole factory is still working. Yeah, because we're one of the patients right now. Yeah, because he licked it. Two hours the earlier. I need to, to check because the mic is in the way, but... Yeah, I have the same problem. <laughs> so that looks familiar, probably. It's the so mail. You. The mail that started, and you can see, to uh, milesupshore at gmail.com. Where is he writing it? That's the question. Uh, that's called the laptop. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, which place is he in? Oh, it's he's like a inside. server. He looks a bit nervous. Oh, he saw some shit. Well, if you want to do something like this and you don't want to get caught. So now you can send the email. <laughs> is he here? Send, send, send. Email has sent. So now we've uh, condemned the poor man to a trip through hell. Poor man. Hello. They've paged for you three times already. There's something urgent at the engine. Oh, what are you doing look at in here this. Anyway? I thought you were just a soft. This is familiar. Yeah, only everybody's alive. Everything works. It's cool to see this because it's the same. It's the same room. Especially because we just came, because we're recording this right after we did uh, the ending to do Outlast itself. So this is pretty cool to see it right like this. Yeah. So Wall Rider isn't here yet. So we're Wayland Park, if you missed his name. Page him again. We need this park guy in here now. Finally, where have you been? So we got Gluskin out of his cell. We got Aaron Cole. 30 seconds out and we're blind inside his head. The chamber. Ask them to delay. No, I don't need another performance evaluation. Mr. Park here is going to have us up and running before we even know it. Right, Mr. Park? Yeah, yeah. So we only have 30 seconds to fix this. Not that we need to do anything, but... Are we happy, Mr. Park? Uh, yes, yes, we're happy. FMRI is still dark. You're doubting our friend, Mr. Wayland Park? Which I consider more than unkind to his programming skill and considerable dedication to the Murkoff Corporation. Fuck me, they're bringing him in. Compiling. So that's Gluskin, one of the patients. Oh, that's the exploded cell. That was red. There was one cell. Is that that one? 
think so. I think they, well, I can't see because the computer screen is in the way, but I guess they're putting them in. But that one is still normal. Yeah, so he hasn't been infected by the, the fleshy bacteria because he didn't have any therapy yet. Because it's his first session. Oh, okay. So we're really being forced here. You can see that the doctors and the security really force us, us to, to do everything here. Okay. Eddie Gluskin, as you can see over there. And he's plugged in. And in this cell, they developed the flesh eating oh, disease. Yeah, yeah you can see it happening already because his face was normal. Because the fluid's probably in the in that orb, because it's filled with with a with a sort of fluid yeah. that probably doesn't help either. So now we need to get our laptop back because we don't want them to find anything, right? No. Because we needed to leave that there because otherwise that would be really uh, suspicious. I hope you didn't found it yet. Yes. Um, right. On the left. Yeah, over there. I think it's here. I think they found it. <coughs> uh, oh my. What? Yeah. Yeah, they found out. Mr. Whalen Park. Consulting contract 8208. Software engineer with a level 3 security clearance. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. Somehow dumb enough to think that a borrowed laptop, onion router, and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. Stupid, Mr. Park. More than stupid, in fact, that was crazy. I'm afraid we're going to have to have you committed. Mr. Park, will you willingly submit to forced confinement? No. Did you hear that, Agent? No. He said yes, Mr. Blair. <laughs> Are you no. shaking? No. <laughs> Did I just hear Mr. Wayland Park volunteer for the morphogenic engine? Because if you remember... No. <laughs> Mr. Blair. That was brave indeed. So, Mr. Blair? The Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. Maybe you could administer Mr. Park here a light anesthetic. Gladly. Push! A light anesthetic, you call it. That was a heavy anesthetic. Yeah, that was really a oh, whistleblower. Started off. So you might also Pretty remember awesome. a document about an, an ornery that was working at the asylum. That was also forcefully committed because he uh, didn't want to play along. We're not the only one that happened to. No, yeah, probably not. So but it's 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 weird that we got the email and right after we investigate what we the email we got the the whole laboratory is gone to shit already. Oh. Yeah, because it it took him a while to get there, of course, because it's still probably next to him. But as we can see, it happens pretty fast. So we're we're being Miles experienced the madness through the experiences he had because he lost his finger. He, he was chased constantly. But Waylon, oh, uh, yeah, hi. Waylon is actually committed to these tests that the other patients are going through. So that's why we're seeing the Rorschach tests, even though we're not really looking at it anymore. And look at that! The camera! And the guy next door dies. And we already have a note. Notes. If I die, I fucked up. Oh god, where am I? Hours could have passed, or weeks. Brain filled with static, they made me watch the... The engine. Have to get help. Have to call for help. Lisa, I'm sorry. If I die, I know you'll find me. I know you won't rest until you find my body. I hope you find this camera with my corpse. I hope the evidence on it does what I couldn't. Exposes the truth. Liza, baby, I'm so sorry. I fucked up. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I fucked up bad. Yeah, you did. Yeah, indeed. So, I guess the camera didn't make it. <laughs> I mean, he 
forbidden ear. Well, we don't know that yet. Look to the left. Oh, outside the door, outside the door. So he's gonna open the cell for us. Go. Yeah. You only have one battery for the moment, by the way, so, uh... Why isn't it attacking me? Because you're a patient right now as well, so they kind of feel sympathetic. I wouldn't try your luck, though, but... Right now, they still look towards each other as fellow patients, so... Occasionally, most of them will be, uh... There's a battery on the right, yeah. So go through the filter that we're gonna look at that. What? You can uh, actually enter the place, yeah, to to where you were going. Let him go. He's friendly. Oh my! Run! Run! Yeah. Run! Well, you could at least try a door. Here, what are you doing? Go back. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, <laughs> you're not gonna go out of here. Ah, uh, fuck this. Go back. He's gone. Yeah, we're still at the beginning, so to speak, so. It's more of an introduction to all riders should you not have played the uh, initial game. I think that door is open. Come to join our therapy session. Here, take the plate. Keep around with our friend here. Get a little red on your hands. It's always healthy to express yourself. You keep me bottled up too long and you might do something you regret. Oh my. Too good for the likes of us. I mean, you're different. Okay. You want the knife, you need to? Yeah, I want the knife. <laughs> Give me the knife. No. I will stab him. He's dead. So get the fuck out of here. Okay. Whoa, yeah, they, okay. <laughs> they uh, went In out of the, the way to the, to the right. I'm not gonna try my luck. Oh my! Go, 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 go! Come back here! Uh, no, no, go, 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 turn around. Yeah, okay. Okay, close the door still? Yeah, okay. And now? I think there's another battery in here, no? I think I saw something on the cupboards. Oh, no, it's okay. I might. Oh, okay. So, we probably have to go up. There's probably another vent. Oh, there yeah, you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, it started off pretty aggressive. Yeah. We get out of here through reception and then So those guards are still alive. Get here in time. We need help now. So we something happened in between. We don't even know us the works. It's sure being captured and so while we we know what happened, Wall Rider got out. Yeah, but how did he go out? Notes. So they kind of talked about what we need to do. There's a radio in the prison, shortwave. If it's electronic, I can make it talk, make it work for me. There's hope, Lisa. I'm coming home to you. My mistake was subtle subtlety, like you always said. I thought leaking information to a few journalists was the safer way. I didn't want the spotlight, the attention. Murkov is dangerous, I know that. I thought I had to be subtle for your sake, Liza. For the boys. But I should have exposed what Murkov is doing to the world. I should have shouted to anyone and everyone. I can't die. Not before I reach the radio. They can't cover this up now. It's too broken, too dangerous. So that's our next uh, objective. Find the radio in the prison where we've been uh, with Miles. So this is before Miles arrived at yeah. the asylum still. 
So we don't need just happens, yeah. I think you can, yeah. Are you threatening me? Yes. So there's one of those things you need to slide out of the way. So hold it and move it. And yeah, you can hear the guy standing oh my. up. Hi. Did you miss that? Yeah, I missed that completely. <laughs> the guy standing there. Um, okay, yeah, you can close the door. <laughs> I'm just okay. gonna close the door and let you be there. Yeah, don't forget they're all psychiatric <laughs> patients, so... Oh. Um, uh, wall rider? Nope. Nope. <laughs> That's closed off. So, it triggers every time he sees something uh, horrible. All the time. Please. I'm a doctor. I need to get hold of my... So there's a battery as well. I was... I'm a patient like you. You don't even close from a dead body, I think. <laughs> you don't even let him speak. <laughs> nah. Fuck you. So, as I said before, this is gonna be a bit more brutal. <laughs> yeah. So another note. I've never seen a man die before today, never seen a dead body outside of a coffin. Dozens today, murdered and worse. I looked into one man's eyes as another tore him to pieces. Well, not really tearing him to pieces, he just mm. smashed his head against the wall. Claimed he, has, he was a doctor, then saw the rags they've dressed me in and changed his story, said he was a patient. Could have been either, they're all crazy, all sick. No real difference between them now. The therapy is spreading, and what am I? I watched this man die and only thought, it's not me, thank god. I know I'll die someday, I don't want to be murdered. Yeah, I don't think anybody wants to be murdered. Alright. Hi, what? <laughs> okay, that guy's still oh. dead. Yeah, you can't go. Yeah, oh, that was clear, but you can't go. You can't hide from all right? Oh, that was all right. Yeah, I think the ghost noise said said plenty. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Nice try. Yeah. So uh, in real life, if you ever come across a nano machine ghost, don't hide in the closet. No, I don't. <laughs> Move, 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 move. No, not, not towards him. Yeah, okay. I didn't know he was opened, coming. You opened that, so. Another one's coming. Uh, another one's coming. Okay. Document. Document. So, our first little uh, break. First read the document. Resignation of Whalen Park. Mrs. Grant, so that's Liza. Oh no, no. You may receive requests for information from a Mrs. Liza Park of Leadville uh, CO. Leadville? CO. Company organization? No, CO is probably the state where oh, Leadville okay. is located in. Oh. Colorado, probably. Yeah. In the coming weeks concerning the resignation and hospitalization for her husband, Whalen. If so, please forward them to my personal attention. So that's from uh, Blair, the guy that put us in here. Wayland Park, former consulting contract 8208, resigned due to previously undiagnosed mental illness. I personally visited Mrs. Eliza Park and her sons and broke the news to them with the silver lining that Merck of Psychiatric would be graciously providing treatment. Miss Park had some less than charitable things to say about myself and the Merck of Corporation. I assured her that with her power of attorney, she could try to fight the doctor's diagnosis of her husband's illness. However, if it were discovered that he resigned under false pretenses, his insurance would be cancelled and a family would be saddled with not insignificant healthcare debts. Mm. So, next page. Hopefully she understood, but if she insists on making a nuisance of herself, or tries to get around me, 
please let me know. This is one I want to take care of personally. Yours, Jeremy Blair. Oh yeah. So that's the uh, the asshole that put us yeah. in here. Um, as you heard, the doctors that ran out of the exit say they locked us in, so we can't go through that exit door. We're gonna have to find another way. I think, because this is a bit unclear, you can go on top of that uh, that tunnel here. I think that's the way to go. So over there, yeah. And then climb that on the barrels. Mushy. Yeah, that sounded really mushy. So I think you can okay. try to. No, no, no. To the left, I think. Otherwise, I'm completely wrong. It'll also be the case. Okay, try to go through the door then. But I don't think. Maybe the other side of the, the tunnel. Yeah, that looks more like it. Okay, okay that, that, is, was weird. that was completely <laughs> unreal. Yeah, because you're still jumping diagonally. Jump straight on top of it. Oh, what the? Okay. I can't jump on this. And if you crouch and then jump? Oh, you can't even jump if you crouch. This is the way, I think. This. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, for fuck's sake. That's the way. Why did you... All right. Why did they even add that second box down? Okay, and then drop down. Just to... Suck us over. Um. So, somebody's getting cut open by a saw. Yeah, you can take a look and can't you jump through that? Yeah. I think there might be something here. Or not. There's a door there. Oh. Uh, sort of. There's some pictures too. Okay. And on the floor next to the body? No, the other body. Inside. Nothing. What was the point of this room? <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Ooh. Oh, battery. battery! We need to stock up on batteries. Okay. Okay. Oh. So I would start crouching. I hear something right now. On the right. No, it's in the in the next room, but it's blocked, so we need to go. Uh. Oh. So um, this is our first bad guy, and he's a uh, kind of a cannibal. With a chainsaw. With a chainsaw. But indeed. we are one of. Yeah, I don't think he cares. Come on, man. <laughs> There's a door. Over right there? Yeah. Whatcha cooking? Whatcha cooking? I think he's cooking a head. And not like a head, but a head. Like someone's face. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to stand up to open the door. Uh, That's the saw. Uh, oh my. Oh, he's here. Yeah, he's having fun. And how can I stay out of this? Nope. Nope. Take the long way around. And don't forget about the crouch button if you need to run. Is he gonna see me? Well, I guess we'll There's find out. Door. He's still inside, so... Yeah, he's looking at the... There's a door behind you. The freshly made corpse. <laughs> He's still there. We're gonna have to try something. Because um, we can go further as go. well, but that's probably just for him to get a route over here. I'm assuming. Can you try the door? I've tried the door. Okay then. Okay, move on then. You're not gonna help yeah, anyone by staying here. Are you going to you need to stand up have here? To jump over. No, I think you're gonna have to go closer and around the table. Oh, but he can. Can he come? Yeah, he probably. I think he can come closer for now. 
You can you can zoom in even to take a look. Oh my! Because he kind of looks okay aside yeah. from the blood. That's um, why. Yeah, can I sneak, sneak past him? No, I don't think so. Oh, oh my mother! Wow, okay. Close. You're closing the door you need to go through. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, go, go, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, fuck, I'm yeah. fucked. Uh, where do I go to? Uh, I don't know, is there something? Oh, oh, oh over, over here. Here, yeah. okay, toilets. Can I inside, hide in the locker? Inside, yeah. You don't need to hide just yet, because I think, think you can even hide. Oh, door. Oh my, okay. Behind. Can you climb up? I'm coming, Cooper! Unlock the handcuffs to open the door. Fuck your god. Listen, listen. Okay. I'm Hold on! There's still people trying to get out, of course. And now you're gonna have to climb over that. You can climb over that. But But Of course. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. I'm not gonna let you stop just yet. <laughs> the door? No. Nope. There's barricades, so that means. I think I see him standing there. I think it's kind of the same as as uh, with Walker before. But only that, faster. That we're gonna get, we're gonna start him off if you uh, climb over it. And then. Really? And uh, I think you already heard his noise. He's the chainsaw guy. Yeah, but. Uh, we need to where, find the keys for the handcuffs. Where do I run to? Yeah, forward. Can you go under the... I'm telling you, I never played this, so... This is all up to you. Let's go ahead. Yeah. We can go I think I would crouch. Oh, there he is. Behind the boxes, behind the left. No, 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 where are you going? There he is. I'm going to <laughs> be standing way too fucking close. He's gonna chainsaw my head off. Uh, I think that's the background music, but. Okay. It's a bit. Uh, it's so creepy as well. Because he's. Confusing. He's making noises. It's okay. Silent. We're gonna have to move. Just look. Sometime. Come on. Okay. Seems no, good. I think we need to go where that light is. The light is usually positive, right? So at the end of the room and then to the left. Light is positive, remember that. Nothing over there. And are you sweating yet? I'm sweating my fucking okay. pants off. I even get scared from windows. He's go. He's, he's coming. Left, yeah, he's you left. have to go here. So you have room to maneuver here. Did he just pass me? What? No, no, just, just a second. don't look at that. No, no, no. He's probably over there somewhere, but. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Okay, I'm right over here in the corner. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. No, no. No, no. The music <laughs> hasn't... Oh, yeah! Oh, run, run! Fuck off. Oh, fuck, fuck off, you didn't run, run around, run around, run around. And go where he runs. He didn't fucking see me. No, 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 There's an opening, there's an opening, there's an opening. Yeah. Kite, kite, kite. There's a door, there's a door. Close the door, close the door, close the door. No, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no. Yeah. yeah I yeah. would think you would know that by now, but <laughs> to close yeah, the but I... door. It's okay, not... you're gonna throw him around again? Is he gonna follow me like this? Oh, no, yeah, he's, he's in front of you. you oh, fucking. So go, go, go. That's why. Right. And then to the right, at the end. Yeah, yeah but I right. don't see the door. door. Shit. Yeah, you need to reload. Yeah, it you can always crouch. Yeah, and he doesn't see me or what. Under the bat, under the bat, under the bat, under the bat. Too late. Yeah. No, no, no. Way too late. Wait, what? What the fuck just happened? I don't where, know. Where is he? He didn't see me. What? 
I did a perfect job at this. <laughs> I was so panicking that it went perfect. Oh, God. Oh, it God. went totally perfect. Okay. He's probably in this room. No, I don't think so, because the door is still... <sighs> I, I don't know, is the open door the one you came through or... I have no you've been fucking idea. <laughs> okay then. This is um, the room where he hit me when I ran back. Yeah. That's where, what I know where, for where, where we need to be, I think. Yeah. Because I didn't close the door behind me. So that's the door... So that's the door I came from, that's the door I so need can to go you close? to. Can you close the fucking door? Because <laughs> I don't hear the chains also. Oh, that was great. That worked. Oh, that didn't open. work so great. Yeah, to open the next door. Why is the music? Lights. Going? Lights are good. Keys? Or not? You can keys? see us. Where do you see? Yeah, but keys? I don't think he's here I yet. Don't, I don't see fucking keys. I only see dark bits. Okay, we are. St I hear s his saw. No, that's the alarm, and that's the music. Yeah. But uh. I hear footsteps though. But oh, maybe look up. Look up. No, in the light. God damn it! In the light. There. There is a hole. I knew. There he is. There he is. He's jump, coming. Jump! 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 jump. Holy mother fucking Christ! And the other way! How can I fucking know? Because the, the, the fucking door is closed. I think there was the battery. Go back. Oh, the key, 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 key. Okay, but there was a battery as well. Sure. Go toward that guy. Go, go, go. Run, run, run. Because someone is breaking down a door. Um, why? Yeah, keep, keep going. There's a battery near that guy. Down. Why? Crouch. Oh. Gold oh, fucking bug. Go back to the left. That's the right. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 on. yeah. Okay, it's a bug. Oh, my! He's a friend. He has an itch. He says, Look, his hand is missing. He can't scratch. Yeah, yeah. Scratch his back, man. Scratch his back, man. I'm not gonna scratch his back. Come on. So take. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop don't, running. Don't he's, run. he's here. Who is here? You hear them break down the door. Which door? There was no door. Oh my, what the? That is in the face, you My buddy, I don't think. Can you climb up back? Climb. That was an English, but no, no, you can't. Get out of the way. You look like you have an edge, so keep going then, I suppose, but. I think oh, you oh, can kind of loop around. Here on the left. Yeah, you can. And what's this? Because we need to get back to that door somehow. I kind of like that guy. I just need to <laughs> look. His hand is missing, so he can't scratch his itch. <laughs> he has something really. The poor man. I'm going to kiss you. I don't know if the guy's here, but yeah, we have lockers. Yeah, but if he sees me go into the locker, I yeah, he'll throw you out so you can. He probably again. opened these doors. Is that a document? Yeah. On the right, there. The no, it's oh, something that. There, yeah. there. The yeah. fucking blue, yeah. And the battery. And the battery. Another battery! And now you can read the document. Gender selection. Uh, Ethan Skrzyż. I'm not even gonna read that. Shrzyż Kondaragja. This is a request for a specific legal consultation in the ongoing lawsuit by Melissa Cho against Merkov Charitable Psychiatry Incorporated, originally filed in 2010. At the time of Ms. Cho's termination, the psychosomatic effects of the morphogenic engine on female employees and patients had been well established. Already more than seven female employees and patients had reached fictitious half-term pregnancies in a matter of weeks before miscarrying the non-existent children, five of them fatally. Female employees were moved to higher floors in the facility, then to other buildings and eventually entirely off of the Mount Massive facility. That's why we never encountered any Females. women. Even the female ward we'd been through, but there wasn't anything yeah. there. The critical secrecy of Project Wallrider necessitated secrecy in the motivating factor for the reassignments and terminations, resulting in perceived injustice from several terminated parties. Miss Cho 
has succeeded in acquiring a court-ordered FOIA release of the documents surrounding her termination. Those documents will need to be generated and post-dated, providing ameliorating information while skirting the relevant secrecies of the project. So nobody wanted to uh, let it get out that the women needed to be. And, um, well, I guess we're going to take a little break here, because uh, I think if we go outside again, we're because that's a door that somebody broke open, so we're going to be back in uh, Chainsaw Territories to... Please stop moving! <laughs>